cookies. Always a good idea, right? Particularly when you eat them and it supports a local family-owned business. Yeah, that's what Daddy's Dough is all about. Quality ingredients made with love. We've got owner and co-founder Marcus right here with us, and he brought some of the goods with him. Marcus, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So talk to us a little bit about your history. I, I love the backstory of mm -hmm. how Daddy's Dough came to be. Yeah, it was an uh, idea that came from my daughter. She said, you know, we were baking and we baked often, and she said, Dad, these cookies are so good, you have to sell them to people. And I said, I don't know if they would go for it, so I took some to work. They loved them, and I was like, maybe they're kind of driving me around, so I decided to take them to family, and family does not lie. So all of my <laughs> siblings, they were like, these are good, dude, you should sell these. So after we uh, decided to sell them, we took them to different farmer's markets and different events. So. You know, and it just kind of took off from there. But my daughter is the main catalyst for it. And what's her name? Her name is Mariah. Mariah. Yep. Thank you, Mariah. <laughs> yes. We appreciate yeah. your inspiration. Mm -hmm. when it, when it, so this really started in your kitchen. Yeah. So we decided, you know, I was. it was a kind of a hobby to get over the death of my grandmother. Because we did a lot of cooking and baking together. So I decided I'm going to do a lot more baking. And after, you know, it kind of just exploded, I decided to, you know, like I said, take it to market. And we, we decided to experiment with some different simple flavors and some wacky flavors. <laughs> well, and let's talk about some of the flavors because you do have some wacky flavors. And I love some of the names. you got the Beauty and the Beast mm -hmm. and you got some Brookies here. Yes, yes. Talk about all the things. Yeah, so uh, the Beauty and the Beast idea was actually, we, first we were just, you know, putting typical chocolate toffee pecan on them. Then we kind of decided to go with some different names. We had the, uh, the Beast already as a cookie, so I, why not call another? and beauty mm -hmm. and people play off of that all the time and brookies was an idea that we you know we kind of decided we wanted to do brownies but we wanted to do something different so we decided let's do a layer of brownie and a layer of cookies and put some additional ingredients in the middle to kind of just ramp it up a notch. Is so that what that is? That's, that's what that is. is. <laughs> Are you telling me there's so, a cookie inside? Yeah, so stealing it's, from the it's camera. a brownie on the bottom. Brownie on the bottom, cookie, cookie on, on the top. top. And that's a turtle one. So it's got caramel, chocolate, pecans, and it's got a chocolate and caramel <laughs> drizzle on top. Oh, man. So it's we, like caramel, we, just, we just introduced <laughs> that last week. You <laughs> can't new. say caramel enough for me. So <laughs> you can just keep saying caramel. Yeah. So what, what, what makes these so special? I mean, the, mm -hmm. Obviously, lots of people bake cookies. Yeah. What yeah. makes your stand out? So we use real butter, real eggs, real vanilla, real sugar, and you'd be surprised how many cookies don't have real ingredients. So we decided we're going to stick with real high-quality ingredients. Even when the price starts to go up of butter and eggs, and we decided to stick with it and ride it out. We also have oatmeal in all of our cookies, which is very oh. unique. So a lot of people will come up and say, I had your oatmeal chocolate chip last time. Well, that's just our chocolate chip, but there's oatmeal in it. So that's very unique to all of our cookies. Well, okay. It adds that texture. Yeah. Yes. So yes. yum. Yes. Um, and so talk about, what's Mariah's role in, in the company now? Is she so, still doing things? <laughs> she is, she's a teenager now. So yeah. she was five when she came up with this idea. <laughs> wow. So now she's a 15-year-old in high school, but she still helps out on the weekends and when she has days off from school. So she was just in the kitchen last weekend over the holiday break helping us out. I, I yeah. think certified taste tester might, yeah. might, be, <laughs> yeah. might be her role, yeah. Yeah. right? So she determines whether it's good enough to be right. sold. Where right. can we find these? So we sell them mainly at wholesale, but we also sell them online. So we sell them in Bridge Street Market, Horrocks, Fresh Time. Um, we also sell them online as a subscription service, and we do a ton of catering. So around the holiday season, leading up to the Christmas week last year, we did 10,000 cookies. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And it was so much that I had to call in family. So I said, hey, I need some help. So a bunch of them came down and helped out. We were able to get the orders out. This is still out of your kitchen? No, this wasn't out of our kitchen. No, no, no. So we're, we're commercial based now. So okay, after a few years, we decided to go with the commercial kitchen. And we have, you know, a 60 quart mixer. Okay, so we're wow. able to do 80 pound batches of dough. Wow. Which is way bigger than the initial two to three pound batches we used to oh, do. Oh, well, before. we got to get people I to know. Yeah, yeah. Marcus, if some people want a subscription, a cookie mm -hmm. subscription, mm -hmm. that sounds amazing. Yeah. And they want to know where you're at. What do yeah. they need to do? So all they got to do is go to daddysdough.com. They can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Daddy's Dough, and we'll be able to help them out. They can email us, and we'll be able to answer any questions. Our goal is to build relationships with all of our cookie monsters out there. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me in. I was going to say, yeah, two of them right here. Thanks so much for the time this morning. Thank you.